You can access the flight preparation web application from the Flight Assistant website or by entering app.flightassistant.iro in the address bar of your browser. Log in using the same method and the same account as on mobile. Let's have a quick tour of the web application. These buttons allow to select what is displayed on the map. You can add information on the map, like TAF, META or NOTAM. You can see here META showing visibility, clouds and wind. You can as well filter the items on the map. For example, I can hide ultralight airfields. I can as well hide or show airspaces based on their category or class. On the web you can manage your account. Here are the details of your subscription, your add-ons and those available. You can filter them by country. Your user profile with the contact email and your preferred language for the application. Let's now see the planes. We can see the same four tabs as on mobile with base information, performances, weight stations and CG limits. And now let's go to navigations. We select our previous flight that brings us back to the map. On the map, the user interface is similar to what it is on mobile. We must select an object first and then choose the action. For example, I can add a point to the flight or remove one if it was already there. As on mobile, you can access all the information for a given point with the arrival briefing and the airport documents. Depending on the location, you will see the airspaces and more detailed information. For example, the decoded meta, the TAF, and the NOTAM. Let's now create our return flight. You can create a flight from the list with the Add button or from the map using the context menu after the flight plan name. As on mobile, we will start by defining our departure, then our arrival. You can look for an airport by its name or its code. Give a name to your navigation so that it can be saved. The navigation displays on the map. On the navigation log, if you move your mouse over a leg, some actions will show for this leg. You can access the briefing for the airport and browse weather information or the airport documents. We check the VFR reporting points, the landing pattern altitude and we go back to our navigation. Let's first add the reporting points. We select them and then we choose Add. For a little change, we are going to use a different route for our return flight. We now have our route. We can double check it using an aviation map by swapping the map background. This aviation map is one of the maps available as an add-on to your flight assistant subscription. We go back to the default map to define the altitudes of our flight. As on mobile, we are going to use the terrain profile to help us. We can place the mouse over the leg that we want to change and we click on Edit. We enter the cruise altitude that we have chosen as on mobile, the altitude is applied to the following legs. We have decided to arrive above the first reporting point at 1,500 feet. As with the cruise altitude, we edit the leg and we enter the arrival altitude at this point. We can see the change on the flight profile. In the end, we plan to be at Montpellier at 1,000 feet. We repeat the altitude change on the last leg. 
We have created our return flight on the web and it will be synchronized automatically to our mobile device. Now, over to you.